Bliss.io Hello, hello, welcome everybody to another episode of Sarcasm and Orgasm. I want to thank you for tuning in and checking out me on YouTube. So make sure, don't forget to like, click, and subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification button for all new episodes. So, you know how we do it, let's get sarcastic. Are you funny? Yes, I'm talking to you. Are you funny? Everybody says they can bring the funny. Everybody says they can tell that joke that's going to instantly kill. But they fold under pressure. Now, I'm not saying I know because I don't. I'm not saying I know what the formula is because I don't. But what I am saying is I am not afraid to try. And that's, I think, what people are not able to do. They're not willing to try and find out just how funny they are. Everybody says they have a sense of humor. But do they have that sense of humor? Can they really make a person laugh can they really make a person enjoy can you tell that one joke that we all know is just boring and flip it and make it into something like i said i don't know the recipe don't know the formula well i guess the recipe and the formula is kind of one and the same don't you think kind of feels that way to me but i'm just saying in a way as you need to shine light on these people who don't know what they're doing They don't know how to tell a joke when there's no joke to be told. When the joke is really on them or you. However you want to put it or however you want to see it. I'm just saying, don't say you got a sense of humor when you the doll is paid. Don't say you can laugh at anything when you got that stick wedged up in your ass. I mean, come on now. Life is way too serious, and people take way too many situations in this world that we live in way too serious. Laugh a little bit. Enjoy. Smile. Because remember, it was just not even two years ago that we were all sitting away in our homes, wherever they were, riding away because we couldn't go outside. So, what did we do? We tried to do as best as we could by entertaining ourselves, and we had a lot of moments to where... We had to laugh. We had to laugh about not being able to go out. We had to laugh about how we had to have a curfew to where we had to get in by a certain time. I mean, I know I did because at the time our governor had shut us down to where we couldn't go out no matter what. Now, if you were an essential worker, which that was a joke within itself, yes. It was nice to have people who were there on the front lines, but still, you were giving people special treatment for absolutely no reason. And now those same people still want that treatment right now. Two, almost two half, maybe three years later from the shit that we all went through together. So what I'm saying is people are, no, not people are, people really think they're funny when they're not. They're not funny. They're just laughing at themselves and the people around them are encouraging them, making them think that they are something. That their jokes really hit when they don't. They don't. Now, I know I'm funny, but I don't try to be. I just talk. And then if it hits, fine. If it doesn't hit, that's fine too. It's being able to accept it. And a lot of people can't accept it. So, I say to any and everybody, whoever is going, whoever is watching and listening, that it's okay for you to be funny in your surroundings, but unless you can go out and be funny in a absolutely different surrounding that you have never been accustomed to, then you need to keep your little ass in your small pond. Don't try to run with the big dogs thinking something's going to happen. So, you just need to keep your little ass on the porch <laughs> And be mindful of this. Do us all a favor. Don't tell a joke that you ain't never tried before. Because before you can deliver a joke, you gotta believe in it first. You really do. I mean, it takes work. It takes work to try to be funny. But you know what? It also takes confidence. Because if you have confidence, then you can do it. So, people don't have sense of humor nowadays. And the people that do have sense of humor 
get taken for granted or they get looked over because they think like, oh, well, you have a sense of humor. So, yeah, we're, we're not going to try to come after you. It's those who don't. Those who don't know what they're doing or don't know how to do it. So, we need to laugh a little bit more. Hell, we should have been laughing a long time ago. I mean, just look at all the shit that's happened over this last year and a half. We had a guy who didn't know what the fuck he's doing. Next thing you know, he's telling people to go storm the Capitol. And everybody's getting up in an uproar about it. Not that I care, because who doesn't want to laugh at a bunch of stupid, ignorant white folks, you know, taking over shit that's not really theirs. But that's just me. So all I'm saying is that if you're funny, be funny. But if you're not, don't try it. Don't try it. Don't even be one of those ones that says, well, all my friends and my family tells me I'm funny. Yeah, because that's because they know you and they tolerate you. It's like I said, do us a favor. Don't do it. So, just want to thank you for listening and tuning in to another episode of Sarcasm and Orgasm. And make sure you like, click, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification down at the bottom so you can always keep up with what's going on. So I'm Will, and I'll talk to you soon.